Hey, and on this episode of Wrench, we are going to use lead body filler to fix this dent in the this dent in this door. And if all goes well, then we're going to take our newfound skills into the blasphemy build. So we are going to kick it old school in this episode and attempt to use lead filler, old school lead filler, to fix this big old dent in this door. Now I've been talking about using lead filler on the Blasphemy build since I started it. I had to put new quarter panels on it, I put the entire rear section on it, and Porsche Factory used lead for all of those seams, and of course all the old school hot rod guys believe in lead filler as well. Now lead has a couple of advantages over plastic Bondo body filler. Number one, you don't have to wait very long to prime right over it. It's not as absorbent, so it doesn't suck the primer like a sponge. So you can actually get to finish work really quickly from it. And number two, it's more structural than plastic filler is. If you were to use plastic filler around like a door handle or like, you know, near a door jam, there is a chance that it will crack off. Whereas it, with lead, if it's properly installed, you have a lot less likely of a chance to do that. So because I'm a total newbie to this, I have an old Porsche door that we now have a brand new dent in, and we're gonna learn how to lead together. I've watched all the YouTube videos. Now, speaking of YouTube videos, I had reached out to Eastwood a little while ago and said, hey, you know, I'm interested in doing some lead work on my blasphemy build and Nick said why don't we send you one of our kits and I said great so I actually just did an unboxing video of it uh, this is a sum of what's in the kit they gave me a couple of these great body files a couple of handles for the files which I may or may not use today these are the paddles that you spread the lead with it's really interesting too when you watch the videos like of the old school guys it seems very gentle so i'm really curious to see how that feels when i try to put it on uh, of course a bunch of bars of lead this is 70 30 lead this is uh, these are uh, i almost said toothbrushes these are brushes used to put on the tinning butter so this is the tinning butter you clean and wipe down the surface then you heat it a little bit you put the tinning butter on, you kind of spread it around, and then you heat it with your torch. Once that's heated, you wipe the whole thing off. Then that panel is ready for lead. It's very, very clean. I have heard some people say that you can um, use like baking soda, like there's acid in here. So I don't know. I've seen some people do it. I've seen some people not do it. I'm probably gonna not do it on this just to, I don't know, make it efficient, I don't know. Um, and then I don't know what this is called, but it's like a wax that you put on these paddles to make sure they don't burn and they allow you to, to spread the lead evenly. By the way, if you are brand new to the channel, welcome. I am now, I think this is video number 32 of building this 1969 Porsche 911 S gutted race car back into a really cool techno mod street car powered by a twin turbo Subaru EZ30R motor. It's a really fun build. It's got a bunch of fabrication. I'm just a normal dude in a garage. I'm not a company. I'm not a professional. I'm not an engineer. I'm just a dude just like you that buys tools at you know Home Depot and Harbor Freight. So let's walk through what this process is going to be. Let me grab the camera and I'll show you the dent and I'll show you what I'm about to do. All right, so here's the dent I just made. And I did it actually on this vertical on purpose because I need to learn how to make sure the lead doesn't fall off as I'm trying to put it on. So. We can see now what the thing did. Um, I'm gonna strip all of this of paint and you know, probably do a nice little one foot around there with my flap disc or some sort of grinding wheel to begin with. And then I will wipe it down with acetone and make sure it's clean. Then we will attack it with the tinning butter. And then we're gonna use this propane tank and some of these little lead sticks and see if we can get it to lay in there, hit it with the file, and see if we can smooth the whole thing out. So that is the plan for this next couple minutes. I've got this thing all cleaned and wiped down. Let's see, there we are. You can see the dent. That's what we're working with. 
Now I'm going to attempt to heat this up a little bit with the propane and apply some of this tinning butter with uh, the brushes. And what I'll do is, I'm calling it tinning butter. Is that what it's called? I might be making that up. Anyway, um, I'm going to apply it in this sort of six inch area around this dent. Uh, obviously, I don't, need, I don't need the lead filler all the way around there, so I don't need it to stick. But I do need enough to blend it into the rest of the bodywork. Just like regular plastic filler. All right, I've got this heated up a little bit. I'm going to try putting some of this tinning butter on. And for what I'm seeing, you just kind of slather it around a little bit. This will clean the metal so that the lead sticks to it properly. So I'm told. By the way, if any of you guys have done this, feel free to um, help me in the comments. If you see me doing something wrong or I could be doing something better, please do tell. All right. So now we've got this. And I guess we heat this up until the butter turns brown. And then we just wipe it off with our, uh, our steel wool here. I'm not getting any color change yet, so. No, I don't know about this propane here. It's not really doing like I see in the videos. <laughs> Maybe it's not hot enough. So what this revealed to me, I think, is that I didn't clean the metal of the paint and primer well enough. Like, I think that these little dots are actually still layers of uh, paint and primer. So I didn't do a good enough job cleaning all that stuff out. Uh, I'm gonna hit it right now with a flap disc and do a little better. We're gonna give this a shot now, dudes. Here's lead, here's a torch. I'm gonna to heat up the area and get this going. We have some lead here. So from what I've seen, you kind of heat the lead up and then you um, get it onto the material first. We've got a, it's sort of this balance between the lead being warm, the, the panel being warm, but not too hot, not so hot to make the lead run off. So you want to be somewhere in between. You can see that I started getting a drip there. Hopefully you can see that. So I'm gonna see how much I have now. I'm gonna try to spread what I have. So to do that, um, I'm going to use the flat paddle and I'm just putting some of this wax uh, or whatever this stuff is, I think it's wax, onto the paddle. So now we will heat this and Try to start shaping this. Yeah, look at that, it just... There we 
we go. So, let's see, what does this feel like? Um, it feels like when it's soft, almost like, almost like butter, you can see it, like you can kind of see when it, when it wants to go. Like, you, I can start seeing when the, the, the solder wants to, uh, wants to break. And, and, and run. And so what I'm doing here is I'm just trying to get this thing as smooth as possible. And I feel pretty good about where it is right now. Uh, a little high here. Because you know, when this thing gets hard, you gotta, you gotta file it, you know? It's like you're filing. So the more, the flatter you can make it when you install it, the better. All right, there's the lead filler on. And you can see if I try to show you down the line here, uh, not a real hint of that dent. So I'm gonna cool this thing down with my little fan for a second, and then we'll start working it with the, the body file and see how we did. I definitely want to show you guys this. Look at that. Can you see that okay? Like you can see where it was. But I mean, man, is it smooth. And it really does look like, you know, from certain angles you can see the, the lead, but it really feels like, let's see, can I feel it? What I was doing here with this little DA is that I just wanted to see. If there was high and low spots, they would appear. So you can get a better look now that it's flattened out a little bit. So what I was doing is first doing that with the sander and then dragging across here to see if there was any high and low spots that were getting picked up. This one feels really smooth now. But I mean, if this thing got like a little skim coat of uh, plastic filler, you know, towards the end there, just for any little inconsistencies, uh, I'd be totally fine with that. In fact, I'm gonna just hit this with some primer and just kind of see what it does. So the primer's still wet and I wanted to just show you, 
look at that reflection. It looks like we got really like 99% of that dent filled. It looks really good. Um, I can see the scratches from uh, the files in there. So obviously I would prepare this a little bit more before we actually sprayed primer on it. But And I just globbed it on because I wanted to see what would happen. So this is going to dry for a couple minutes. I'm going to maybe hit this with like some 400 grit when it's done on a block and just again kind of see how it turns out. But it feels like that was a well executed lead. Look at that. It's pretty good, huh? For, for a rook. So, uh, unbeknownst to you guys, I will tomorrow start working on the uh, Blasphemy build and see if we can start making some progress. Uh, getting that thing all dialed in, getting the drip rails. Actually, let me show you guys what we're gonna do. So here we are, of course, you guys have seen this car a lot. Uh, we have drip rails. To lead all of this stuff here needs to be leaded and you can see it really needs some help you know there's rust and of course I need to clean all that stuff out and get everything all dialed this is where lead was before and it get all melted out so this will be like replacement lead in this section I can just see my future it's gonna be filing for a lot of time and then right here I will clear all this primer and everything out and you'll see how that is kind of denty. So I'll clear that stuff out. I've got to get all this stuff cleaned out, weld it up as much as I can. Really excited to kind of lead in this area. This is kind of where the factory did it. And then I have lead that I have to do here in this area. Although I have to say I'm pretty stoked about my, my welding here but the factory used some lead to kind of fill this in and blend it. I've got, of course, this side to do as well. Got to do that, got to do that. And then when the flares go on, actually there's more. I've still got to do this area down here as well. All this stuff has to be done. And I got to hit all this with a wire brush and get it protected. Get something on it so it doesn't rust. It's just got some surface rust on there now because I didn't, I haven't sprayed the uh, the top like I did the rest of the body. So, got to get that going. Um, but all this stuff gets leaded. These little seams in between here all get leaded from the factory, and they become completely integrated. So lots of work to do. Thankfully, Eastwood sent a bunch of lead, so we're good to go there. Uh, let's see if that. Let's see if that primer is dry enough to give this thing a quick little sand. Okay, last bit of this. I've done kind of a couple of primers and sands. You can, oh man, it's hard to find. You can kind of see there's still a little bit. That's just because I'm a rookie, but I mean, I mean, it was dented. You know, you saw me hit it with a hammer and we are almost perfect. I literally would need to skim this with a little bit of body filler and just give it a sand for a couple minutes and, and it's gone. So we are on to the blasphemy build. We'll see you over there in a second. Mm -hmm. 